How does a surveyor measure a distance? Well, there are many ways to survey a distance. Uh, one of the most common ones is a measuring tape, a measuring wheel. But the easiest way is with GPS. So what do you actually need to survey a distance with GPS? In this case, I brought with me today uh, this GPS kit. And what does it consist? In this case, I have the Emlet Reach RS2. I have a rod, a carbon rod. I have a tablet with our software, the Applot Survey Wizard, a tablet holder, and myself. <laughs> the first thing you need for measuring a distance is to survey a point. So what I'll do, and what I always say, is give a name to the point which you want to survey. So, first of all, we go to the layer manager. There I press the plus and I say, well, in this case, it will be easy, first point. And I give the color blue. I select OK. Again, I select OK. And then next to the layer manager, now I see the layer zero. So, but I want to give a name to my first point, which I want to survey. So I select first point. Hold the rod straight, look at the small bubble and press point. Now, second thing is I need to go to my second point because I want to start measuring this point from that point. So my line, middle of the bridge. Whoa, a little bit too close, but okay. Then as I am entering my second point, I again go to the layer manager press plus second point and today I like the color red press OK again press OK select next to the layer manager second point I'm going to survey my second point and now I'm going to use the option calculate I'm going to select in the pull down menu distance. I select the start point on the screen and then I'm going to select end point and then I press calculate and the calculation says the distance between the points 2 and 1 is 8.190 meters. This is how a land surveyor measures distance. If you want to know more about this great land surveyor, the Apple Survey Visit, please check the videos, which is actually a tutorial on the Apple Survey Visit.